Ken McNamara is at the spot where the arena might be built, might be built across from the Virginia Beach Convention Center. And I'm sure sports fans have a lot to say about this one. What are they telling you? Well, when you first ask everyone, everyone's pretty excited. Then you mentioned that taxpayers might have to foot and probably will have to foot some of this bill if this plan goes through. And that's enough to change some people's minds. The sights and sounds of professional sports could be coming to this empty plot across from the Virginia Beach Convention Center. The city-owned land has room for a 20,000-seat arena. I think it would be great. I mean, Virginia needs pro sports. The sports and entertainment firm Comcast Spectacor will lay out its proposal for City Council Tuesday. Virginia Beach Mayor Will Sessom says the Comcast deal comes with a big promise. And they will be the one who guarantee us a professional team in Virginia Beach and Hampton Roads. Now Simons with Robin. Published reports say that team is the Sacramento Kings. The owners of the NBA franchise have been looking to move from their current location in California because plans to build and fund a new arena in Sacramento fell through. Money is on the minds of residents here, too. Is that more taxes? Because <laughs> I, I'm not all about that. I pay enough taxes. It's not clear how much of the $350 million proposal would be funded by taxes. Rumors of professional sports coming to Hampton Roads go on deaf ears because it's happened three times before. I also say to them, look, if you're playing one against the other, if I ever pick up on it, negotiations stop immediately. And for that reason, sports fans here are nicknaming the team the Never Gonna Happens. Here are the other ideas they came up with. Mm. Oh, that's a tough destroyers. Yeah, I'm about tired of him to destroy you. Every time you come around, to destroy your team. The Knights, because I used to go to Kellum. What would I name the team? Uh, I don't know the Beach Bums. How about that? <laughs> I've been informed that name is already taken by a minor league team. But speaking of uh, social media and picking names and stuff, we can go on our Facebook page and you can tell us which name you liked. A lot of people came up with clever ones, the Hurricanes, and then some people saying the Never Gonna Happens. Now the next day you want to watch for is Tuesday. We will be inside that city council meeting and we will tell you exactly what that proposal entails and at that point we'll really know which city leaders will support this or not and why. But right now guys, we're really short on details. It's just the excitement of the whole proposal. Live in Virginia Beach, I'm Ann McNamara, 10 on your side. Sports fans are such a cynical lot as we heard in Ann's piece. It's the fourth time a Major League Sports proposal has crossed Hampton Roads. 16 years ago, the owner of the NBA Charlotte Hornets wanted to bring an NHL hockey team to Norfolk, the Rhinos. They talked about building a new arena, but that deal fell through. In 2001, the Hornets were looking to move. It was between Norfolk and New Orleans, but the owner decided the Big Easy. Three years later, Major League Baseball, a regional grassroots effort to bring the Montreal Expos to Norfolk, had strong support. Hundreds bought season tickets only to see the team move to D.C. and become the Washington Nationals. So do you think a Major League team will ever come to Hampton Roads? Join the discussion on wavy.com. Click on the Sports tab at the top of the homepage.